Today we have a BMW X4 with a small but sharp dent here on the body line. So what should I do? Well, the two options are that I can pull it out using some glue pulling or I can strip out all the internal trims in the hope that I have sufficient access behind to push this dent out. So which method is best? Well, in this video, we'll explore the different options and you'll find out which one I decided to use. Hi everyone, it's Jake here from First Street Dents and welcome back for another Paintless Dent Removal video. So as you can see, we've got a BMW X4 with a relatively small but sharp dent right here on the body line. So I thought to myself on this one, what should I do? Should I glue pull this from the outside or should I spend the time stripping all the panels out and going in from behind and pushing this one out? Well, first, before I decide, let's take a more detailed look at what we're dealing with and then I can weigh out the pros and cons of each method and work out which one I think will work best. So if we look at the panel head on, we can see that the total damage covers an area of approximately 80 millimeters by 150 millimeters. This is because there are two sections to this damage. Section one here is the main dent right on the body line, which has taken in an area above and below the line and which has created these crowns around the perimeter as shown here. Now section two wasn't very obvious from the start as this is additional damage going down to the bottom of the panel, which may be difficult to access from inside, especially as it gets closer to the lower edge. Now this damage didn't show up on the initial photos from the customer, so that's why it's always important to check around the main damage for any additional damage. Okay, so now that we've seen the dent in detail, let's weigh up the pros and cons of each method for this particular job. Glue pulling versus pushing the dent out from behind. So with glue pulling, we do have the ability to pull and tap down at the same time. So this could help me bring this dent out in a more controlled way. It can be quicker than taking the car apart and can save a lot of time instead of removing lots of trims. Some modern glues have tremendous pulling power, so potentially it could pull this dent out quite quickly. So now let's look at the cons. Will the glue cope with pulling a strong body line and will it leave small traces behind? So it's 32 degrees C today, which is quite hot, so the glue may not fully harden to give a strong pull. So there is always a risk of pulling paint off and this increases when the panel has ever had some paint repairs. Although from what I can see, this looks like a factory paint finish. Now let's look at the pros and cons of pushing this dent out from behind. So generally, if you have good clean access, it can be a much quicker method. For example, one push can be equivalent to several glue pulls. I can be much more precise and have more control when pushing the body line up, especially on fine detail areas like micro lows. So as the dent evolves and reduces, I can change my bars and tips to suit the shape and size of the dent. So the fact that it is quite hot today will not make any difference to me when pushing behind. In fact, it will actually help to keep the paint flexible and prevent the paint from cracking. So now let's take a look at the cons when pushing from behind. On a tight dent like this, it's very important to be able to access it cleanly to have a good chance of removing it. If we have a brace behind or some sort of frame, this could make it difficult to get the right tool on the back. As well as good access, if the panel is too open or restricted, I may not be able to get the right type of leverage to lever this dent out. If you have to remove a lot of panels in order to gain access, this can add a huge amount of time onto the job. Also, with removing any car trims, there is always a risk of something snapping or breaking. Okay, so with all of that in mind, what did I decide to do? Well, in this situation, I decided to push the dent out. The main reasons being that, one, I thought the dent was way too sharp and too strong for glue pulling. Two, I just think the weather's too hot today and I don't think the glue will set on the panel. Three, I always prefer to push dents out as I like to have the control and I know that I'm probably going to end up with some small micro lows on this job which will require me to use some sharp tips on. Four, so I spent 17 years working and training at BMW so I know these cars like the back of my hand and they generally come apart nicely with no problems and the metal is always good quality and responds well to PDR. So really the only risk I'm taking here is the fact that I haven't been in one of these BMW X4 tailgates before so I don't know if there's going to be sufficient access for me to push this out. If not, then I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. How did I get on? Well, let's find out. So as I've decided to go in from behind, I do need to remove quite a few trims before I can take down the large main trim as shown here. First, I need to remove the switch for the boot closure, which pops out very easily. Next, I unclip the rear window trim. Then we have two screws either side to remove. 
Then we have two screws hidden in the top recess at the base of the pillar trim. Now I can unclip the rear central trim, which then allows me to remove both pillar trims very easily. Once these are removed, the large rear trim can be taken down by gently pulling it away from the tailgate. I just need to remove the wiring for the interior light. And there we go, luckily the gamble has paid off, as it looks like we have lots of access points in which to thread the tools in behind to lever this damage out. Right, time to get the board into position and I'm going to start with the main dent right at the top here in section one. I'm using my bendable Johnson tool from Ultra and I'm going to start off with my standard rubber tip. To get on the back of this damage, there is a perfect access hole situated here in the corner. Even though the panel is already warm, I'm going to give it some gentle heat as I need to give this dent a lot of force. So using this bar, I'm just using my experience to feel the tension behind so I know the best place to start pushing this dent out. Then slowly and gradually, I can start to push this dent out and get the body line back to where it's supposed to be. After pushing this dent out, I can then start working on the raised crown at the top of this dent, gradually bringing this raised lump back down level again. I can then continue on removing the low section below this dent going into the middle section. Next, I address any high areas at the top of my plastic bullet tip. A quick review and I'm really happy with the progress of the top dent so far. Luckily, it came out without too much of a fight. Now it's time to move down the panel and concentrate on this low section going into the edge of the frame. To repair this, I'm going to start off with my plastic vinyl tip. So threading it through the hole at the back, I can navigate the bar down and push this low area out. It's working on the top part of the dent, but I'm struggling to get into this little micro low here, which is at the bottom of the panel. This is because of the shape of the inner frame. So to get down this far in the panel, I'm going to use my standard double bend shave tool. The shave tip should allow me to get down into this lower section and remove this micro low. And there you go, the micro low has completely gone. Now time to bring up all the micro lows and tap down all the micro highs. I give the panel a gentle bit of heat and I'm coming through on the other side this time and again a perfect access point which is very strong to push in from. Luckily the repair has come out very cleanly so there is minimal cleaning up work to be done. The micro lows are super micro so I'm pretty much just adjusting the orange bill texture in the surface of the paintwork. There aren't any surface scratches to deal with, but I'm going to give the area a good polish with a soft mop head just to remove any dirt and grime and any surface marks on the top surface. This will also give the panel a nice glossy shine. Now wiped down, I just need to put all the trims back into place. All the trims need to go back in the same order in which I removed them. So first I pop the main trim back into place. I then put the interior light back in the centre. This then allows me to put the boot closure switch back in the front edge of the trim. Next I can put both the pillar trims back into place, which then allows me to pop the centre trim back into position. So the last thing to do is to put all the fixing screws back on both pillars, then I can close the tailgate and check out the final result.
Well, that was a plan that worked out really well and I was so lucky to have so much access in the back of that panel. So all in all, I think I made the right choice in which method to choose for this repair. I think if the dent was a little less sharp, then glue pulling may have had a chance on something like this. But to be honest, I'm a little bit old school in my methods and I always prefer to go behind if I can with a dent bar to push most dents out. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you like the video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. And if you aren't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell to be kept in touch with all the latest videos. Well, that's all for now. So I'll see you all in the next video.